It's everywhere. I noticed because I had one back in the day. I had a mullet, but back in the day, the mullet was actually cool. Like, all the celebrities were wearing mullets. And it was just kind of like the style that was out there. You know, it was a little bit shorter in the front, party in the back. The hair went a little bit longer. And then I don't know what happened, but it got all goonish. And everybody's like, well, if you got a mullet, basically you are not cool. And the mullet went away in hard fashion. Well, because the mullet was just bringing out the worst in people. Well, I think it got real trashy. And, yes. you know, the Kentucky waterfall kind of started to ruin it. It got real long in back. The, the party got to... See, when the mullet's great, you had a good balance of party and business. You know, it was business <laughs> in the front, party in the back. But when the party got way too long and the business was all a mess, then, you know, it just became like, all right. It was a Joe Dirt kind of look. And things like that started to ruin the mullet. And if you had one... You were not class. You're right. There's some mullets that really, they, they changed the game. They did. The skullet, I think it's where it kind of really turned. And, and yeah, the, and the, the Patrick Swayze look started to go away and people like that, your A-listers that were sporting them once upon a time. And then, you know, when Patrick Swayze went away and your Mel Gibson then, you know, got tarnished with his reputation. Those were sex mullets. They're sex appeal <laughs> they mullets. Were. They were. They had they a, were. A, an attitude about them. They made people hot. They, and they then, made them hot. They made Jason hot. <laughs> <laughs> The mullet went from making you hot to making you into a joke. <laughs> and now when I see mullets are everywhere, and I don't know what the heck is going on. Now, I first started seeing this, especially in football, because I love football and I watch it. And there were a lot of players that were doing it. There was a whole college football team, and they all, they're uh, basically out of South Carolina, and they were all sporting mullets. And I'm like, okay, well, this is kind of like the dude's version of the mustache. And it's fun when it's a camaraderie of the whole team. Yes, and so I got that. It, it looks awful, and you know it, but, you know, you play football, and you only do it during the season to bond with one another, which is important for a football team. And then, you know, you cut your hair to something normal and respectable. But I got to tell you, I'm seeing people all over the place sporting the mullet and it's a lot of younger people i started noticing especially during spring break and we had you know all these uh, young 20 year olds but i'm still seeing it all over and it's people in different walks people that you wouldn't think necessarily are out just being party dogs or football players or whatever and so i was curious is the mullet back my dad used to give himself he actually still does but he just kind of shaves his whole head off he would give himself his own haircuts and right about when he got into his 40s he went to, he kept on going real short on top but he kept growing out the, <laughs> the back he gave himself a mullet and my mom Hated it. Yeah. He was like, what are you doing? <laughs> no, he, he loved it. He loved he it. He did. <laughs> he gave himself an accidental mullet. It feels nice on his neck, but it's still a business in the front. <laughs> it was uh, It was something else, man. I got to tell you. It, it is something else. So I asked the question yesterday on our uh, Twitter, is the mullet back? And this is the response that I got back from Twitter. 22% said, absolutely, the mullet is back and it's no longer embarrassing. 53%, though, a majority of people said, no, it's still a joke. And 25% said, yep, the mullet never left. Well, the people that, that have, I've seen, I know the mullets you're talking about, a lot of these are model mullets. They're, they're, they're yeah. being fashionable with it. Trust me, there's some people I know in my personal life, if they were to get a mullet, even a, a nice quaffed one, they go down a little bit. It, it knocks them, their, their score goes down. More than ever, I'm seeing it seems to be a trendier thing. I remember Miley Cyrus, she had uh, sported a mall a couple years ago and uh, it started to kind of like catch fire from there where it was almost like a fashion trend and the people that I'm seeing now are kind of like the younger hipsters or people that are in bands or something like that and I'm like okay if they make it cool again, is it possible that we will see another wave of the mullet all over the place and legitimately people want to get it to look good? I mean, if you're an athlete or you're in a band, you can kind of wear your hair however you want. No, you're right. And I, I think that's kind of where it works. So will we start seeing the mainstream mullet coming back? I mean, Kev, Hair Club could fix you up real nice. They could, they, yeah. I know some people that could fix you up real nice, Virginia. A little <laughs> femme mullet? I'll hate it. Yeah, yeah, Virginia. It's not just for men. <laughs> yeah. It'd be awesome if you got the skull where you shaved on the sides. It's like a no guard <laughs> on the sides. You had like the flat top on top and then straight back. Nothing but party. And then I come in here and I'm like, guys, I, I think I want to start dating women. <laughs> <laughs> it just feels right. Would Panda be able to fight through that with that hairdo? Or, or, or what do you, you look great with that. 
I don't know. I don't think Panda would like it if I got a skullet. Would Virginia look okay with a skullet, honestly? <laughs> or would it be just the... It could work. I think it could, I think it could work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it could. I think you might want to look into it. <laughs> um, yeah, just to kind of like get yourself set on this. Uh, one text that came in said, yeah, the mullet is definitely back. I work at a rich private school, and a lot of the boys are sporting the mullets now. Okay. Is that a fair sample size, the rich boys? <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm noticing it on the trendy ones. And a lot of times it's the rich kids, and it's the athletes, and it's the hipsters, and it's the people in bands that are doing it and you know for a while there it was just kind of like the rednecks and the people you saw at the county fairs that were sporting the malls and people like oh i don't want to have that kind of hairstyle but now that you got some of the cooler supposed people with the money and all that kind of stuff that's why i think the whole trend i think it's legitimately taking a foothold two questions i have when does the rat tail come back and when does the the uh on purpose perm come back for men remember when men were perming their hairs back I in do. the day yeah i do <laughs> <laughs> if you perm your hair, how long does it take for it to get back to normal? A good bit. Yeah, Over a, six months? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you got to cut it out. You, you can't grow a perm out. You can, but then it'll be straight at the roots if your hair is straight, and then it'll be curly at the ends. What a commitment, huh? <laughs> it'll be a mess. Uh, somebody else said, yeah, the mullet is back. My son, who is turning seven this Friday, wants a mullet desperately. I'm noticing that a lot of people are doing that. Some people are saying it was Morgan Wallen, who's a big old country star. He did the mullet, and now it's become legit. And uh, Morgan Wallen brought it back, and now it's popular. If you have a mullet, you're now considered cool, not like, ugh, look at the mullet. Bethany's on here from Stewart. You say your 35-year-old husband and everybody at his work has now grown a mullet, Bethany? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. So... Hi. So, yes, my husband is 35 and works at a local gas company, and all of the technicians at his job have grown a mullet, and it's like this brotherhood, and my husband is the funniest because he has male pattern baldness, so he's bald on top. <laughs> he's growing this ridiculous mullet, and he's got curly hair, like... I can't tell you guys. I tell him he looks like a homeless clown. Oh, it is. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> like bold on the top, and then he's got these sides, which he shaves, and then this, you know, tuft in the back yeah. that's growing out. And it is hilarious. But yeah, they're all doing it, guys. I, this is right, and I just I, I'm trying to understand it. I, I'm not arguing with the numbers because I am seeing it out there like crazy. I'm just, are they doing it as a joke? Is it all funny, or do they think? Because I know when I had a mullet, I I grew it because I thought I looked good. I thought it made me sexy, oh, yeah. right? And maybe it was the style. And, yeah, and perhaps you were back in Logan, Ohio, oh, in, I was. in the nineties. It did make me sexier, and I believe that. <laughs> but I listen really to this. That. Listen to this wife saying that her husband looks like a homeless clown. Yeah, so that's not sexy. That's why I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what is the attitude behind the mullets that are out there. Is it? Do you seriously think it's making you look good, or are you just like you're peacocking and this is funny and ha ha? Well, let me ha, ask you this: to me. the Queen's got to get brain surgery done. The the doctor walks out and he's mm -hmm. got a full on mullet. All right, Mr. Ross, nice to meet you. I'm your operator, your wife. Are you confident he's gonna nail it? He's got great great score. He's got great credibility, but he's got a full on. Mullet, not the good kind. Are you nervous? A year ago, I'm concerned. Now I'm thinking maybe he's just really hip and cool and into it. But a year ago, you are nervous. A year ago, I was nervous. And that's why I think my own <laughs> attitude now is starting to soften and change towards the mullet. That's why I'm, that's why I'm really trying to have a serious discussion about mullets here because i got to figure this out. You're confused. I'm confused. And it's not a good place to be. It's, I, I need <laughs> clarity on this. Are we doing this to be serious now? Do we think it looks good? Or what is the deal? Are we just trying to be cool? What's going on with it?